This is my marble sorter. My name is Tim Burst and I am a teacher at Western Hills High School. This is the first time that I have completed this project using the VEX Robotics platform. You'll notice that my program is already running. I have it in the uh, always on mode because my robotic marble sorter will automatically detect when the marbles are present and turn itself on. This is my hopper system with a pickup wheel and this device right here is an ultrasonic rangefinder. The ultrasonic rangefinder will see when marbles are present and then turn the wheel on to start picking up the marbles. It will also determine when the marbles are not present and turn the wheel off. The parts of the marble sorter are as follows. This is the VEX Robotics Cortex. This is basically the small miniature brain or computer of the robot. Right here, coming down on this metal plate, on the underside, if I turn this you can actually see it is the ultrasonic rangefinder. You'll notice that when I turned it, I uh, actually got beyond the th uh, tolerance threshold and the wheel came on. The wheel in the back, I created using a 3D printer from a part that I designed using Autodesk Inventor. This is a 3D printer right there. The rails right here are made from coat hangers, scrap PVC, a couple of support mechanisms that I made using the 3D printer, as well as my hopper that I made with the 3D printer. On the back side, you'll see the back side of the wheel, a VEX robotics motor. You'll see a motor down here that controls the sorting wheel. The sorting wheel actually has a tab on it that comes out and hits a limit switch. That is how it knows how to stop at the home position. An example of what the pickup wheel looks like from above. This marble sorter uses two methods of sorting marbles. The first is by size, the other is by color. To begin with on the size, what happens is the marbles will roll down these set of rails which are made out of old coat hangers. As they get to this point right here, the rails widen out and anything less than a half inch in diameter will fall through and go down this track. This goes into a collection bin at the bottom. Anything over a half inch continues on. It comes up, this piece of paper is in its way to keep it from flying off the end. They drop down into this piece of PVC, which drops down into another set of rails. That set of rails directs the marbles into this tube. At the bottom of this tube, you will see later that there is a light sensor and a wheel and a flashlight that will determine the color of the marbles using opacity. To demonstrate the sorting by size, you'll see the steel ball bearings are going down that first track while the rest of them go down the other track. To show you what the sorting by color area looks like, the green wheel in the center is actually a wheel that was cut out of acrylic using a laser engraver. Due to the fact that acrylic transmits light, I had to cover the wheel up with tape. I then wanted to control all the ambient light getting into the area, so I covered the sensors with uh, paper and made a shading system that way. There is a sensor behind that wheel and in front of it there is a flashlight that has a cardboard tunnel. The cardboard channels the light 
to an area on the wheel that has no tape on it. And therefore the light transmits through the clear, clear acrylic through the marble into the light sensor behind. I've raised the piece of paper that I use as a light shield so you can see where the wheel is and if I get closer to it you'll see that there is a clear area in the tape where the flashlight goes through. This is the flashlight. Behind it is the light sensor. You'll notice that there is light coming from that flashlight. If I click stop on the program you'll notice that the light will go out. All the clear marbles go to the front edge in this collection bin and all the dark marbles will come here to this side. Clear marble to the left. We've already had dark one go to the right. There goes another dark one to the right. Clear to the left. And it'll continue until such time as the device senses there are no more marbles. The way it senses no more marbles is the amount of light getting through to the light sensor.